I am not a liar. I have killed thousands. I have fed more drug fiends than the top three pharmaceutical companies combined. I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands, wiped out entire generations. But lying, that I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization, which you call a cartel. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca, produce our own cocaine, where we could run our business free from interference from the police, the government, the army, the Yankees. In my dream, a woman's voice asked me, Sueño, mijo, what if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land. Bolivia. We came here. We bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We bought the police, the military, the judges, the politicians. We were on the verge of becoming the government itself, on the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. Of creating a narco state. The nation of Santa Blanca. What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome to Tom Clancy's Wildlands and what an introduction that was. I've never seen, well I have seen that before actually, that's not true. I saw it once because I tried to stream this game before. But either way, that is quite a special intro, so I thought I'd show you that. And I'd like to introduce you to our guy. This is, um, well, this is me, basically, because I'm that hench and I do have that sexy a beard, I tell you, honestly. Anyway, we are starting a new slot. I'm going to save my character, yes. And we're going to play on uh, regular. I don't want arcade. Arcade physics are a bit naff. And we're starting out, and as I just mentioned, I did try and stream this game before, but unfortunately it absolutely fried my computer. I fixed that now though, I've gone out, I've bought a new motherboard, a new hard drive, and most importantly an i7-7700K processor, which is pretty good as they come to be fair, so hopefully this will be pretty awesome. So this is the intro to the game. Yeah, I am really looking forward to this game. The graphics are special in this game. They've, there's something else. Like, I'm a 90s kid, so I grew yeah, up with, like, work. Mario Kart. But this, sure. compared to that, is something special. Yeah, a friend of mine. Right, let's skip this. Sorry so, B to loss. skip. And we're going to start our mission. So, where is it going to place us? I'm interested to see. It's loading. It does have fairly long loading times, this game. I've noticed that. But then, equally, my computer is not the best in the world. I still need to upgrade my graphics card and a few other things. See what I mean about graphics? Like, the first thing where it drops us off is here. That is just something special, that is. Just fire one shot off for good luck. Hopefully that doesn't kill someone. Time to earn your uh, I'm thinking we should take the Nakahawa with our guys, which is blatantly a Toyota or a Mitsubishi, one of them. We need to focus and get this done quick Come on. before we get stuck between local politics Right, the driving and physics boys. in this game are First a jet, little bit not great, let's just say. And we got 2.5 kilometers to our first mission, which is all the way over there. So I will cut this out and I will bring you back when we get it, unless of course something remarkable happens along the way. Right, we're nearly at our destination. I'm going to pull up here. And we're going to have a look at our weapons. Oh, the graphics are so awesome. I've only got the graphics in this game set to medium. Because I need to get a better uh, graphics card before I do. 
But even still, look at that. That is so extraordinary. And it'll be exactly the same on the other side because we're on the uh, crest of a hill. Look at that. Like, seriously, this game is awesome. Anyway, oh, we got a hostile. Our first kill this is going to be. Well, hopefully. Here we go. My favourite thing about this game, well, two favourite things. All right, we're all clear. Firstly, the gun sounds are absolutely amazing. Secondly, with the suppressor on particularly, and it's most noticeable if you have a sniper rifle, you get bullet drop and lag, which is awesome, but not lag in the bad way. As in, you'll shoot and the bullet actually has to travel, it doesn't just kill them instantly like some games do. I think that's extraordinary. Like, when, when we get a sniper rifle, you'll see exactly what I mean. Ooh. What gun is that? Uh, what guns do we have? I did say I'd look. So that's the one I'm using right now. I quite like that. I'm not going to swap that. Then we have this one, which is... It actually looks exactly the same. Do I swap? I'm going to swap. There we go. And we have our pistol. Which is a pretty nice pistol. And once again, it's suppressed. I'm going to use the pistol, actually. I haven't tried that yet. Right, we've got two guys here, one there, one with and one guns. there. I got a target carrying submachine guns. You didn't hear a thing. Perfect. Oh, that is how you kill, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, chickens. <laughs> We're clear. Oh, that's how you make a chicken explode. Everybody, hold up. We got hostiles in the area. We got hostiles in the area. The way you tell the hostiles are there is if you look at the mini map in the bottom right. The orange indicates the rough location of an enemy. The brighter orange, like the less transparent it is, the more enemies are in that location. Right, I'm gonna see. There's our target. We don't kill the one with the uh, gold over the top. He is important to save. So, uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sneak up on this guy. It's left stick to run. Oh shit! Hello. And there's a guy alerted over there. Come on, buddy. Come on, grab him. Interrogate him. What's he have to say? You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaro, where can I find him? You serious? Come on, hurry up. We've got enemies coming, we need to hurry up. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> right, where are the enemies? Oh, there's one down there. Oh shit, Hold up. Oh, I didn't kill him. There's one. There's one over there. Can we see through here? Oh, shit. This is how we die. Where is he? Where is he? There. Ah, oh, come on, I'm a terrible aim. I was doing really well earlier. There we go. Engaged. Yeah, I know I'm engaged. You guys could have, like, hell, whoa, hey, my god. Cartel isn't gonna I wait actually shit myself then. Wow. We're clear over here. What the fuck? Sloppy. Right, come on. Now we need to get to our next location, which the uh, golden guy, that's what I'm going to call him, gave us. So I happen to know that there are motorbikes somewhere around here. There's one. Motorcycle. We're going to get on a motorbike, and I'm going to cut out the drive, because it's a long drive, I would imagine. A few kilometres. Where is it? Where are we going? Yeah, nearly two kilometres, so I'll cut this out, and I'll bring you back. I just crashed. <laughs> I'll bring you back in a minute. Sorry, I just killed a civilian. <laughs> the bike physics, like the vehicle physics in general in this game are super sketchy. Like you drift motorbikes around most corners. Allow me to demonstrate the next corner that comes up. I love the way you can jump off any height cliff and it won't kill you as well. God, I love that. Seriously, I try and demonstrate a corner and we literally hit the only straight bit of road in the game. That's just my luck. Ooh, water. 
No, there's no water. The next one's water. I knew there's water somewhere. Ah, no, that was nowhere near as impressive as I thought, as I thought it was going to be. Right, it's left here. Yeah, we drift in that shit. Whoa. Right, let's get off the bike. Ah, we're getting spotted. Who the fuck spotted us? We don't have a sniper, that's the problem. Right, I want a legit gun. No, not the... There's the one. Really? Come on. There, that's the gun Good I want. Shooting. Let's clean up and move on. Right, where are they? Two people walking down the road. They're not enemies, though, so they're not my concern. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in the cornfield here. Look alive. We got company. Yeah, good luck spotting me in here, bitches. Yo, cartel gunman. Where you got him? Inside the barn. Right, where are they? There's one all the way over there. That's quite a ways, though. Got another tango. I see a second target. Yeah, I love the sounds in this game. In this game. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate. It's kind of hard concentrating and talking at the same time. Oh, uh, no. Get over the fence. Where are they? Coming up on a Toyo farm. There's one. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Managed to get him. Operation Kingslayer. That's interesting. Got that guy. He was alerted. I don't know if you uh, noticed. Oh, there's another one over there. I'm spotting another tango. Maybe makes three. Oh, there's another one. Got another tango. Yeah, good luck surviving a double headshot. There's a weapons case over here. Huh. I'm pretty sure there's some kind of assisted aim thing on. Because, I don't know, the gun just seems to automatically lock on them. Where's this other guy? There. Surprise! Keep an eye on your background. Oh my god, I knew I could miss that. Right, come on. Uh, I need to lead you, apparently. Right, let's get the helicopter. We're using the helicopter. I wonder if the helicopter is as sketchy as the cars. Because, seriously, the cars are super sketchy to drive. I got it. I'll fly. Oop, come on, get on. Yep, that's pretty, what the hell. That is pretty Where sketch. So our destination is uh, 1.2 kilometers down here in this magnificent valley. That's like something you'd see in the Italian Alps. Like, it really is. It's lush scenery. Anyway, I'm going to drop this helicopter, which I'm still struggling to learn how to fly. It's so twitchy. Uh, actually, no, we can drop it straight there because this isn't an enemy base, is it? It's our base. So we could just pop it anywhere we really this want. Let's park it down here next to the house. Oh, I thought that land was flat. There we go. And we can get out. Come on, guys. Ooh, more motorbikes. Lovely. Ooh, I just saw a weapon case. I say ooh a lot. Come on. That's not what I wanted to do. Load out. Yep. Yeah. I thought, I could swear there was a weapons case. Lead. Do I have to get him to safety or something first? Extract. I want to get that weapon in there. That is a weapons case. Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. I'm going to skip this because I want to get that weapon. Come on. Oh, these loading times are killing me. Jeez. There. Right, where's... Why? Load out. No. Um. Huh. 
Perhaps we won't let us get a sniper rifle. We can edit it though. I think we've only got ooh. Uh I quite like the ones we have. Trigger, that's the only one we got. Magazine. Ah, they're all locked. Son of a bitch. Nothing is unlocked pretty much. Yeah, let's I, I like this gun. Ah. Heads up. Bowman's file and Yuri and Pleto is coming through. Where's the it says there's ammo, there's ammo. Oop. That's the rundown on La Yuri and El Polito. They're a key part of Santa Blanca's security operation. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on their chain of command. Guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. Right, El let's Muro's find somewhere to go. La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social um, Head Sicario for the cartel. Where should we go? Look how big this map is, mine, can I just say? Like, seriously, this map is absolutely enormous. And each one of these bits in yellow, like this is the area we're in, we're only covering this part of the map so far. It's absolutely insane. And there is a guns case there. So, I want to the go there. Now. We want Sueño, we got to work our way up the hierarchy. Oh. The first targets are Yuri and Polito. Change the seat. Intel, we track there. Them down, we take them out. I changed seat by accident. Right, I want to go get this weapons case. God, this helicopter is so trippy to fly. It really is. It's fast though, look at that, 230 kilometers per hour. That's pretty fast. Look at the scenery, wow. Like, I know this is the bit we just looked at, but it's incredible. I didn't even notice that kingdom palace thing up there on the right. Oh, I love this game's graphics. That's one. The, that's pretty much the only reason I bought this game. I saw someone else play it and went, wow, those graphics are stunning. I just wish my compu computer was powerful enough to put them on, like, full potential. That's the place we were literally just at. I'm sure it is. Yeah, it is. Ah, well. That means there'll be no enemies there. Let's just land straight in the front of it. Or the back, actually. Let's pop it down. Uh, let's go here. So twitchy, this helicopter. Right, let's have a look at this weapon they yeah, got. Got a weapons case here. Uh, take equipment. So nice my boots. Oh, why does it keep taking no, me to load out? No man, I've got on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua, and Bowman says you might be able to help. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel, and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Atari. Just tell me what you need. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and restore their morale. Can you do this? Consider it done. So we're attacking a convoy, in case you didn't understand what they was just saying. We are gonna give it to him. The more he depends on us to get shit right, done, where is this convoy? Where is it? I'm on. Yeah, I, I, thought, I was going to say, I left some men behind then. Right, where is this convoy? Um, I don't actually know. I think we should go get some major intel. What about you? Um... Where should we go to get it? What about this place? That's a little bit off the map. Change seat. Why does it keep doing that? And it makes the same that the helicopter starting up even though we're blatantly flying and not falling out of the sky. It makes no sense. There are some things in this game which are just blatantly odd, let's just say. But let's go get this intel regardless. Okay. We're actually in a really big city. That's not good, and hovering above it probably is not the best idea. Okay, we're going to drop down here, and we're going to go through the city, just because I want to see what the graphics are like inside the city. And the major intel is on the other side of the town. So let's just pop the helicopter down. A little bit more, come on, helicopter, there you go. Right, come on, guys. What weapon do we have at the moment? I can't see the front of me, there. Right, that's the one I want. 
It's weird, it's left stick to run. I've never experienced that in a game before. Usually it's tapping A or something. We're on railroad tracks here. That's cool. Some lovely towns. That's a civilian. Mustn't harm civilians. Harming a civilian is bad. Look at that pylon. That's pretty odd shaped. I'm loving the graphics so far. And it's only on medium. I just thought I'd remind you that. This is medium graphics. But it equally, with better graphics, comes more demand. So it's very demanding. That's why it's on medium graphics. Right, we are encroaching on enemy territory. I want a pistol. Where are they? Oh, there's a guy there with binoculars. Spotted one with submachine guns. One day. Whoa. Damn, that scared me then. I'm taking it slow. I'm not running. I'm going to take them out in the surrounding and then I'm going to go for the intel, I think. Is that smart, though? I don't know. There's Watch someone in there. We don't want to kill somebody by mistake. Is that an enemy? I'm not sure it is. I don't want to kill them in case it's a civilian. Unless that is the major intel. Suspected. Where are they? One day. Kill witnessed. There. Right. The, the area is clear now. I need to get the intel. Investigate. What's this going to tell us? Great graphics on that paperwork then. 20 in the garage where Pleto parts his sports car. You snag that, you snag his GPS. Maybe something there tells us where he and his girlfriend are. I thought that was an enemy then. I was about to shoot her in the face. I love pistols. I don't know why. I think they're better than normal guns. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Unlucky, mate. I'm grabbing this Subaru. Don't worry about the rest of them. I will kill them. Oh, hello. There. Perfect. Right. Now where do we need to go? It said we need to go somewhere. There are... Ooh. Story mission and story mission. Tag the convoy. The rebel movement in Itaca... Itacua? Itacua, I think that is. Itacua is in bad shape, and Pak Katari needs our help. The more we support him now, the more we support. The more support we can expect from him in the God, I cannot talk. The more support we can expect from him in the future. Um, I quite like the look of what's this? El Polito has a thing for high-end sports cars with the latest electronic gear. If we could get our hands on that car, our techs could pull a lot of intel from its onboard systems. The car is located at Santa Blanca's Itacua base. Get in, get the car, and get out. That's where we're going. On El Polito's personal car. Oh, shit. So Back to vehicle. <laughs> that was unexpected. What the hell? Drive. I'm in the back seat. What the fuck? That makes no sense. I'll drive. I'll drive. No one else got in the car. Yet yeah, somehow they magic in. It makes no sense. Right, where are we going? I just broke that car and I was. Corruption in the cartel. Those farmers got it hard. Farming ain't never easy, boss. Ooh, that was an enemy checkpoint. Great thing is we got here without crashing once. Okay, I lied. Uh no, I don't think so. Opening fire. Yeah, you don't fucking say.
got him. How do I remove the suppressor? I'm nearly dead. I'm nearly fucking dead. Got him. Uh, right, there's no more now. Sorry, I saw it and I thought I had to attack him. Oh, that's Unidad. I'm nearly dead. They are kicking our ass. Move, buddy. Oh, grenade, I think. Yep. Here comes another one. Whoa. I'm out of bullets. I'm out of ammo. Fucking hell. Come on, I shot him about five times. Right, let's get in this car quickly. I don't care that it's all shot up. Get in, get in, get in. Fuck it, you'll teleport. <laughs> See? Knew it. Right, now they are full on chasing us. Oh, no, they've lost us. <laughs> That's an easy way to kill them. Just run them the fuck over. I'm going to keep an eye out for those little guard posts because they're easy as fuck to take out. You can just shoot at them or run them all over. God, the control in this game is so fucked. Like, seriously. Shortcut. Oh, that actually worked. I thought he was going to hit a tree. Right, let's stop here. For a simple reason, I saw on the map a minute ago a patrol up here somewhere. If we can take them out. First of all, what gun are we using? Right, that's okay. And we actually have ammo for it. Right, is it by that car up there? I'll assume it is. I'm not sure how to throw how to throw a frag grenade. I think it's left bumper. Um Frag out. Okay, that would have alerted them, that was probably a bad idea. I know I wasn't supposed to kill him, but if I can't have him, no one can. Where's the other one? There's another guy. Is he upstairs? Oh, no, my team got him. Okay. Right, we're going the rest on foot. I need to get a sniper rifle, that's what I need to do. Hmm, there's no one there, okay. That's a bit of a surprise. These tutorials are annoying me. Enemy activity nearby. I hope they go away soon. This is the garage. Sound off if you spot Polito's car. Roger that. Right, where are we gonna go? I need to get ammo. There's ammo on the right over here. That's perfect. So I don't like this gun. I want the other one. Here. Perfect. They're gonna make you back up. Where is he? I can't see him. Got him. Okay, we're cool. I want to go inside this house. How do I go inside there? Fool, that was close. Tango heard the gunshot. Shot heard. Oh, I didn't kill him. They know we're here now, so I suppose that's going loud. How do I remove the suppressor? I can't remember. 
That's... Oh, shit. Grenade. Opening fire. Ah, I'm dead. Motherfucker. What a bitch. Come on, revive me. Revive me, revive me, revive me. Thanks. I'm back. Perfect. Right, where's this prick that killed me? There was one there then, but I missed him. I'm going to take my pistol. And I'm gonna kill some assholes. Got another tango. Nice, nice, nice. I didn't know you was there. Okay, bad idea using the pistol. Oh. Huh. Nice. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm engaged. Where the fuck is that shooting me from? The fuck are they? There. Right, this is the sports car. Ah, you fucker. It was right there. Right fucking there. Killed in action. Yeah, you don't say, you motherfucker. Anyway, guys, that is going to call it for today. If you enjoyed this game, let me know. I will make more videos. And I appreciate this video is not as, well, not as good as my usual ones. But honestly, I haven't recorded in two weeks. I've been very busy. I've rebuilt my computer. I lost all my day. It's been a very stressful time for me. So hopefully I will be back in action next time. I will see you then. Peace out, guys.